Hi! Welcome to Virtual CB1A. This is Mamrena. And for this video discussion, we are going to tackle substitution rule for definite integrals. And para mas may associate natin yung dalawang substitution rule, yung una for the indefinite integral at yung ngayon na lesson natin for definite integrals, gagamitin ko yung exact na, so, uh, exact na problem or example na ginamit natin nung nag-discuss tayo ng indefinite. Ang idadagdag ko lang, syempre, ay lower bound at upper bound. So, lagyan natin siya ng interval na from 1 to 2. Again, same procedure lang tayo. Kung mag integral uh, mag hahanap tayo ng integral, definite integral, i-identify lang natin yung u at saka yung du. So, ano ang u? Yung inner function. Ang inner function nito is 6x cubed plus 5. What is du over dx or simply du i-affix na lang natin yung dx mamaya sa dulo du, the derivative of u is 3 times 6 18 and then 3 minus 2 for the power squared, the derivative of 5 is 0 na lang so i-affix na lang dito si dx sa dulo to define that this was solved with respect to the variable x. Okay? So, sulat na natin yung bago nating integral. So, this is the integral of our function. Ang 18x squared dx ay du, while 6x cubed plus 5 ay u. So, we have fourth root of u du. Okay? So, 18x squared at dx i du while 6x cubed plus 5 i u. Okay? Okay. Next na problem natin, hanapin natin yung dalawang limit. Hindi natin alam kung ano yung lower limit at upper limit. Ma'am, nakalagay dito ah, 1 at 2. No, hindi mo na yan pwedeng gamitin. Kasi, ang ini-integrate na natin ay si u. Ito ay in terms of x. Pero ngayon, ang variable na natin ay u. So, maghahanap ka na ng bagong mga values for the lower limit and upper limit. Paano natin yun magagawa? By taking the value of, the, of your original definite integral. So, ang interval niya ay 1 to 2. If your x is equal to 1, the lower limit of your u is equal to 6 times 1 cube plus 5, which is equal to 6 times 1 is 6 plus 5, 11. So, ang lower limit mo dito is 11. Upper limit, pag x is equal to 2, your new u will be 6 times 2 cube plus 5. So, we have 6 times 8 plus 5. 6 times 8 is 48. Plus 5, we have 53. So, 11 to 53. Okay. Since hindi tayo sanay mag-integral ng may radical pa, i-transform natin siya into rational exponents. Pwede mo ito isulat as u raised to 1 fourth du. O, ba Mas simple na siya. All we have to do is to add 1 to the exponent, and then divide the whole function by a number similar to the new exponent. And, sulat natin yung mga limits natin dito na 53 and 11. From 11 to 53. Simplify natin. What is 1 fourth plus 1? 1 fourth plus 1 is 5 over 4. So, 5 over 4. So, let natin dito ay u raised to 5 over 4 divided by 5 over 4 from 11 to 53. Since ayoko na laging nagsasolve ng ganito kakukomplicated na problem sa calculator, simplify ko siya. So, u raised to 5 over 4, ita times ko siya sa reciprocal nito, which is 4 over 5. 
And then, ito yung isasolve ko for 11 raised to 53. Kaya ko pa ba simplify Kaya ko pa ito simplify Ito, tong 4 over 5, pwede ko yung i-factor out. So, this is 4 over 5. And then, ang simple na nung nasa loob, u raised to 5 over 4 na lang siya from 11 to 53. At this point, I can now substitute 53 and 11 to my variable u. So, this is 4 over 5 times 53 raised to 5 over 4 minus 11 raised to 5 over 4. What is going to be my new value? 53 raised to 5 over 4. Hindi ako sigurado dun sa value eh. Kailangan ko ng calculator. Just wait a moment. Ayan. So, all in all, Aba? Nawawala yung solution ko kanina. 53 raised to 5 divided by 4. Ayan. 143.002897 minus eleven raised to five over four twenty point zero three two seven six three two okay this is equal to One hundred twenty-two point nine seven zero one three four. Times natin siya sa four over five. You will end up with ninety-eight point three seven six one zero seven two. In my opinion, this is the simplest method in solving definite integrals using the substitution rule. Uh, kung ang gagawin nyo ay meron pa tayong method number 2 eh. Pero hindi ko siya susulat kasi sobrang haba niya. If you want to stick with your original intervals 1 to 2, hindi mo siya i-integrate basta-basta using u. Isa substitute mo ulit si 6x cubed plus 5 kay u after mo makuha yung integral niya. So, just imagine, you are going to solve for this one. Ito yun ha. Uh, dito ko na lang ilalagay yung uh, sample na step kung gagamitin mo yung value na 1 to 2. Pag nakuha mo na yung integral with respect to u, isasubstitute mo ulit si 6x cube plus 5 raised to Five over four from one to two. Ayan. Dito nga e, eh, parang di ba na kahilo na magsolve. Paano kung mas mahaba na naman, tas mas marami yung uh, terms na mabubuo mo for the substitution. So may bias ako. <laughs> mas gusto ko maghanap ng bagong interval for you. Kesa mag-stick ako dun sa lumang interval ng x. Okay? Okay. If you are going to solve this one, mag -e end up ka pa rin with 98.3761072. So, if you want to check it out, hindi ko ipapakita yung solution, pero kayong bahala. Try nyo. Okay? And now, let's move forward to the second example. This is actually example number one na galing dun sa book nyo. Kaya ako lang pinakita yung example kanina. Para nga may associate natin yung solution ng definite integrals sa indefinite integrals. This time, dito naman tayo sa susunod na example. As I've said multiple times in the past, I am not comfortable <laughs> when solving 
problems na hindi x yung variable. Parang nalilito ko. So, i-rewrite ko to as 2x squared. And then, we have here square root of 1 minus 40 cube dx. Okay? Now, I will identify the value of u and du. So, the value of u is the inner function 1 minus 40 cube. And the derivative of u with respect to x is derivative of 1 is 0 na. So, tanggal na siya. 40 cube is 3 times negative 4. Negative 12. T. And then 3, subtract tayo ng 1 from the exponent 2. Ngayon. <laughs> o, diba? Litong dito talaga ako kapag, ka, ano, kapag ka may ibang variable. This should be x and 4x. And then this should be x as well. Okay. Ma'am, paano yun? Negative 12x squared yung lumabas sa akin. Eh, ang target ko lang ay 2x squared. So, mag associate tayo. Um, paano natin mapapalabas na 12x squared si 2x? What are we going to do with 12x squared? So, si 12x squared, pwede mo siya i-multiply by a certain function for it to be equal to 2x squared. So, ano yung value nitong variable na to? Yung pwede mo i-multiply kay 12x squared para maging 2x squared na lang. So, let's divide both sides by negative 12x squared. This is negative um, 12x squared. This is tanggal na a is equal to 2 divided by negative 12 is negative 1 over 6. x squared over x squared wala na siya. So, pwede pala natin i-multiply yung du natin ng negative 1 over 6 for it to be equal to 2x squared. So, si 2x squared ay equal sa negative 1 over 6 du. Okay? Okay. And, may naka-affix pa dito, dx. Yan. Since, meron tayong 2x squared dx. Now, mag-substitute na tayo ng mga values nila. We have from negative 2 to 0, 2x squared dx is negative 1 over 6 du. Pero since meron pa tayo dito ng u, we have square root of u. Dito ko na lang ilalagay yung du sa dulo. Okay? Pakita natin ha, yung transformation. Baka litong dito na kayo sa akin. This is 1 over 6 du. And then ito, this is u, which is the square root of u. Pwede mo yung isulat as from negative 2 to 0, negative 1 over 6, square root of u, du. Okay? Applying the properties of integrals, pwede natin ilabas si 1 over 6. Pag nilabas natin si negative 1 over 6, this is negative 2 to 0 of square root of 2 na lang du. Or, I forgot a certain step. Um, dito nga pala, magpapalit na tayo ng limits. Sorry ha. Ayan, binura ko muna. Tapusin muna natin yung ginagawa natin dito. So, this is negative 1 over 6. U raised to 1 half du. Ngayon, maghanap na tayo ng bagong interval. Ang original na interval natin ay from negative 2 to 0. Ito yung mga value ng x. So, if x is equal to negative 2, your new interval for u will be 1 minus 4 times negative 2 cube, which is equal to 1 minus 4, negative 2 raised to the power of 3, 2, 4, 8. Ayan, negative 8, which will give you 1 plus 32, which is 33. So, the lower limit here is 33. 33. 
33. Paano kung ang x ay equal sa 0? Ang <laughs> dali ng solution. u is equal to 1 minus 0. u is equal to 1. So, your new interval is from 33 to 1. Don't worry if your lower limit is greater than your upper limit. Nangyayari naman talaga yun, di ba? Nasa property natin na pag pinagbaligtad mo yung lower limit at upper limit, nagpapalit lang ng sign yung buong integral. So, dito, we have 33 to 1. Yan. Pwede na tayong mag-solve ngayon. Kunin natin ang integral ni u raised to 1 half. So, meron tayong negative 6 sa labas. The integral of u raised to 1 half is u raised to 1 half plus 1 over 1 half plus 1. And of course, this is from 33 to 1. Negative 1 over 6, this is u raised to 3 over 2 over 3 over 2 from 33 to 1. Or, ayaw ka ng maraming fraction, ayaw ka ng complicated na substitution. So, isi-simplify ko siya u raised to 3 over 2 times the reciprocal of your denominator, 2 over 3. Okay? Okay. From 33 to 1. Meron tayong 2 over 3 dito. Factor out na rin natin siya. So, we have 1 over 6 times 2 over 3 times u raised to the power of 3 over 2 from 33 to 1. Kaya pa ba natin tong i-simplify? Kaya pa. So, negative 2 over 18. Ilan yun? Um, lagay ako dito ng solution. Ha? Negative 6 times 2 over 3 is actually equal to negative 2 over 18. Or, negative 1 over 9. Negative 1 over 9 siya. Sulat natin dito, negative 1 over 9 times u raised to the power of 3 over 2 from 33 to 1. Okay. Next na step, substitute na tayo. Uh, meron tayong negative 1 over 9 sa labas. u raised to 3 over 2. The upper limit is 1. So, 1 raised to 33 over 2 minus 33 times 33 times 3 over 2. Simplify tayo. Negative 1 over 9 times 1. Anything na ilagay mong power ng 1 ay 1 pa rin ang magiging sagot. Minus 33 raised to 3 over 2. 33 raised to 3 over 2. Okay, we have 189.57.0567. Simplify na tayo. Uh, bawas ako na kaagad to ng, ano, ng 1. So, this is negative 1 over 9. Magiging negative 188.57. Times natin siya sa negative 1 over 9. So, positive yung magiging sagot. We have 20.9522852. Okay, let's check on the book if we have the same solution or the same answer. So, the answer should be, ano to, but 1 over 9, 33. Square to. Wala bang approximated value to? Wala. So, kailangan ko i-compute yung value natin dito kung magmamatch sila. Naka-exact value siya eh. So, we have 1 over 9 times 33 square root of 33 Minus 1. Uh, it is 20.9522852. Parehas. Parehas lang yung sagot. Okay? 
so thank you for listening and i hope i was able to make this part clear you can always go back to this video and you can always reach me kapag ka may tanong kayo so good luck on your <laughs> upcoming activities thank you and see you next time bye